everyone, it's Debbie Z. I gotta tell you what, every time I try to make a video in my car, everything goes wrong. I can't get the lighting right for starters, which that's not that big of a deal, but I put my phone in the phone holder and it always calls the police every single time. Then the suction thing on the window doesn't seem to want to stay. I don't know if it's the weather, if I'm not pushing it in right, I don't know. It falls to the ground and I gotta start the whole routine all over again. So here I am, let's see if I can get this going. Oh, and the other thing is, Sometimes my phone wants to connect to the Bluetooth, sometimes it doesn't. Right now, nothing's lit up, so I'm hoping I'm good to go. Otherwise, you're just gonna see my lips move and you're not gonna hear anything. All right, let's go ahead and see what I got. I came in here to get just a couple of things, of course, and naturally I walked out with a bunch of junk, so whatever. But I was super excited because I wasn't looking for these, but a long time ago, I shared these in a video these have no aspartame in them. Now, I'm sure they probably have some other junk instead, but let me see what it says here. Okay, I have a problem now. I didn't realize this. This has yellow dye and red dye. I might take these back. I think I got four packages of them. I've always bought these because I thought they were better since they don't have aspartame. But lately, I've been on a real kick of reading labels. And since I bought these before, I didn't bother to read the back. But clearly, I purchased them before I started reading everything. My husband and I just got over being sick. We both had the stomach flu. It was really weird. We got sick at the very same time. And mine lasted about three days. I'm finally feeling better today. But because I lost a few pounds, I had packed on a few. I got those pounds back off. I want to kind of stay eating light so that I don't put the pounds back on. You know, I've got a few more to lose, but I'm going to try to eat healthy. And I don't really buy anything here. I did buy some asparagus spears. I'll show you those because they came in the cutest little jar. But anyway, back to this. I'm getting sidetracked. My whole point is I started reading labels. I don't buy certain products because they sneak things in there and you're not aware of it. You know, a lot of you buy Cheetos and Flamin' Hot Cheetos and stuff like that. You got to check that stuff out before you put it in your body. I'm not kidding you because they took a lot of products off the shelves for a while. If you happen to notice, maybe some of your favorite items were missing. That's because they've been reformulating everything to make them bioengineered. I can't ingrain this in your brains enough. Some of the hauls I watch, the things that people buy, I want to fall over on the, on the floor because I'm just like, you're hurting yourself. You don't realize that over time, putting that into your body over and over again is making you sick. And unfortunately, a lot of people are already unhealthy. So many people are on medication. You can get off medication most of the time, not 100% obviously, but most of the time through your diet. Now, my son has high blood pressure, and so I'm trying to figure out ways where I can. I mean, he's an adult. He's 21 years old, so I can only do so much. But when he's at my house, I try to make him foods that are either lower in sugar, lower in calories, less caffeine, whatever I can do, and definitely less salt for him so that he can drop some weight and he can lower his blood pressure, if it's even possible. I don't know. But anywho, I'm very disappointed about these. I am probably gonna go ahead and, well, I might give them to my aunt, I don't know. My, my cousin Stacy is severely diabetic and you know, it's already bad enough she can't eat most of the foods on the planet. So I just hate to give something I'm not gonna put in my body to somebody else. Remember not too long ago I did a Dollar Tree haul and I bought my granddaughters just regular M&Ms. The little tiny ones that don't have peanuts, nothing in them, just plain old chocolatey M&Ms. Bioengineered. I threw those things in the trash. So these might end up in the trash too. I don't like throwing money away, but thankfully it's only Dollar Tree money. So I think I spent what? $5 on however many of these I bought. I think I bought four. I don't know. Let's move on, shall we? My son is almost out of shampoo. He uses bar soap that I get. It's like I either go on Etsy and I buy homemade soap or my husband and I will find soap that doesn't have a bunch of junk in it. And that's what we use. So he just uses 
regular shampoo, but the problem is Dollar Tree only has like a body wash with the shampoo and conditioner combined. I couldn't find any that were just shampoo and I'm too lazy to go somewhere else and I'm not gonna spend a lot of money because his hair grows so fast, it's like a weed, that he gets a cut a lot and I don't see the point in trying to buy him something expensive. I used to buy him the Wen that I use and that stuff's expensive and I'm not gonna do it because his hair stays healthy. He cuts it so often. So I found this, it's by Power Stick, three-in-one body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. And the scent is cool blue water. Nice big jug. Oh, before I forget, cause these are over here. I picked up four more Father's Day cards because I can't find the card I bought for my husband. I could swear I already bought him a card. I also wanted to get him a card from my son to give to him. You know, it's kind of funny. He knows whatever Bryce gives him is technically from me. But hey, you know what? The kid doesn't have a lot of money. He's in debt up to his ears like a typical youngster. So I buy him something and I let him give it to him. I don't see the big deal, right? I also got a card for my son Bryce to give to my dad. All right, so four cards. I got some more of this single use super glue, crazy glue. What is it? Super glue. I find these to be more handy than any other glue. No matter what kind of glue it is, it gets everywhere, it dries up, I have a hell of a time getting it out of the tube, so I just like to use these little tiny ones and you throw them away when you're done. I mean, for $1.25, you get four of them, why not? I saw this uh, silver ribbon here, and I don't know, the, like I said, the lighting is so difficult. I saw this first and I thought I'd use this on the gift and then I put it back, but I picked it up again because it actually has wire in the sides. And so I like that because you can make your bow look really, really pretty when it has the wire in there. But I also got these just in case. These were the only silver bows that the Dollar Tree had. I wanted one that was a little bit bigger, but they didn't have it. So I went with what I found and if I don't use it on this gift, I'll use it some other time. I got a couple more packages of dog treats for my dogs. You know, this garbage. See, here I am being hypocritical again. I want to worry about what I put in my body. And for the most part, we feed our animals very well. Our animals only get holistic pet food. We go to a special store. It's so expensive and they keep raising their prices. But our dogs are healthy. They're 13 years old. Our cats are healthy. And they even drink alkaline water. So... Our kittens especially are super healthy because we had their mom for a year. She always drank alkaline water and ate the healthy holistic pet food. And that's all they've known from the, from the milk from her until now. So I think they're gonna be pretty healthy animals if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I got the sausages again. I just think these are easy to get out of the bag and throw to the dogs. And I got the little tacos because they like those too. I grabbed the last three cans of albacore tuna that they had that is soaked in water. I don't get that stuff in the oil. That is nasty. One time I bought those by mistake, I, I got rid of them. I don't even know if I gave them to the cats. Holy crap, I guess I bought a lot more of those stupid Sunkiss drinks than I thought. Here's four more packages. Lord have mercy, I'm tempted to walk back in there and return them. <gasps> I found some spicy brown mustard. I've been wanting it for a while. And I don't usually go to the grocery store. You know I go to Trader Joe's, but I don't like going to the grocery store unless there's a specific thing I need. I stay away from there. I don't like grocery shopping. I don't like cooking. I don't want any part of it. My husband takes care of all of that. So anyway, I thought I would give it a shot. Deli Market Fresh Quality Downtown Spicy Brown. <laughs> I like that. So that's what that looks like. I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but... I don't really expect to be eating too many sandwiches because I'm gonna to try to cut back on bread too. I love my crackers. I don't think I can give up my crackers. I don't really eat chips that often. I used to eat my pretzels. You remember the Dots pretzels? Got rid of those, bioengineered. So I don't know, but I wanna have this on hand because you know mustard lasts forever. This doesn't expire until July 24th of 2024. So I've got some time on it. What I found interesting was, listen to the ingredients. Vinegar, water, mustard seed, salt, turmeric. There's turmeric in here. I guess that's what makes it spicy. I had no idea. I got two packages of the foil sheets that are already cut up. I normally get them at Sam's Club, but I'm on a budget right now and I forget how much it costs. You get a lot more, but we really don't use them that much. And this is 50 sheets right here for $2.50. So, hey, I'm all about it. I made the mistake of buying the Dollar Tree cheap ones last time. I'll never do that again because when you go to pull them out of the box, 
they stick together and then they rip or they pull another one out. It's ridiculous. So hopefully these come out easier. I bought some more sandwich size bags. I like to keep these things stocked up. I wanted to get some snack size ones too, but the only ones they had here were like the long ones. Who uses those? I don't. So I'm gonna have to probably get those at Walmart or somewhere else. So anyway, sandwich bags. Only got a few more things in here. Here's the cute little asparagus spheres. <laughs> Look at that jar. How cute is that? So I'll probably eat, this will be like a meal for me. I'm cutting back. Like I said, I was sick. I don't wanna eat too much. Every time I eat anyway, I get bloated. I feel terrible. I have stomach issues. So I don't think asparagus is gonna bother me too much. I saw, I was reading the pickle. Okay, everybody at home, check your pickle jars if you're if you're concerned with colored dye. I was looking at the pickles here because I wanted to get some sweet relish and some of those sweet pickles. I don't know why, Susie by the Sea had them on her channel and I don't know, they just sounded good, but they didn't have them here. Anyway, I was reading the back labels because I don't know what in the world bread and butter pickles are. What, does anybody know what that means? Pickles are pickles. So, I noticed that they have either blue dye or yellow dye in the pickles. Just leave the damn pickle alone. We all know it comes from a cucumber. Who cares what color it is? I always have to make everything appealing to the eye. I want my food to be healthy. I don't care what color it is. Unless it's some obnoxious color that makes your stomach turn, leave it alone. These don't have dye in it. It says gluten-free, kosher. And quite honestly, I don't think the kosher thing means anything because I was looking at the Vlasic pickles and they had dye in it. So just check the back. You always have to look yourself. I got this small package of Tylenol. It only has six caplets in it, but I used almost all of the Tylenol. We only had a few capsules left and my husband doesn't usually use anything when he's sick, but I, I don't like having a fever. And when you have a fever, everything hurts. And so the only way for me to get rid of my fever was to take a Tylenol and they were 500 milligrams. So I took one every four hours on the day that I was the worst sick. And then I think I took one the following day. And then after that, I stopped. I don't like to really use medication either, but I got these and these are like travel packets. So you can, you can see them right here. So you can throw them in your purse or whatever. If I need more, I'll go to the regular store or Walmart or whatever and get some more. And then last but not least, I wanted to get some eyelashes and I was going to order some Kiss eyelashes on Amazon, but I saw these and I thought I'd give them a try. I don't know if anybody's ever seen them before. It says 3D faux mink lashes, natural, light, wispy, 100% handmade. And I only got one because I honestly don't put makeup on that often and I thought it'd be fun to just try them out. And then this was the last pack of eyelash glue that they had. What's weird is this says it's black. They didn't have any clear. They didn't have any white. I've never used black eyelash glue before. Does it make a mess? I don't know. Hopefully it dries. It just went tumbling off the window again. Good grief. Anyway, that's my haul. I don't even know what I was saying at this point. It was something to do with the eyelash glue. What does it say on here? 100% vegan. Oh, fast drying, latex free, long lasting and gentle. Okay. I might actually like that. All right, everybody. I'm going to head over to the coffee bean and get myself a nice, delicious tea. And then I'm going to head on home. All I had today was some little crackers, not Ritz because those are poison. I got the ones from Trader Joe's, not bioengineered, no GMO bullshit and some tuna. And then for breakfast, I had a banana with just a little tiny bit of peanut butter on it. Hardly any. I wouldn't even say a teaspoon. And that was it. So I'm ready. I'm not really hungry, but I'm thirsty. So if anything, I'll eat my asparagus for dinner and call it a day. I hope you're all having a wonderful day whenever you see this. And I will see you next time. Bye.